Today on Rappler. Makati padlocks the office of telco giant Smart over alleged 3.2 billion pesos of unpaid taxes. Ingre Mulia wins Cavite 7th District open congressional seat, replacing his father, Justice Secretary Boeing Remulia. Daryl Yap is accused of illegally using footage in his film Martyr or Murderer. Very proud ako sabihin niyo na ano, parang original idea ko siya na. SB19's Josh Collin talks about his solo debut single, Wild Tonight. Liza Soberano opens up about her experiences in the Philippine entertainment industry. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once takes home multiple honors at the 2023 Screen Actors Guild Awards. And J-Hope will be the second member of BTS to go into mandatory military service. Makati City padlocks the office of telco giant Smart Communications in Makati for allegedly not paying up to 3.2 billion pesos in franchise taxes and operating without a business permit over the last four years. Makati City Administrator Clara Certeza says the city requested Smart to submit a breakdown of revenues and taxes paid in all branches nationwide, but Smart allegedly refused to present the documents. In 2018, Smart filed a petition before the Makati Regional Trial Court seeking to nullify the assessment. During the trial, the city government of Makati filed a motion for production and inspection of documents, which the court granted. In 2019, Smart filed an opposition to Makati's motion and challenged the court's decision before the Court of Tax Appeals, which the CTA denied in 2022. The Commission on Elections proclaims Cavite board member Ping Remulia the winner of the special elections for the open congressional seat in the province's 7th district. He succeeds his father, Boying Remulia, who vacated the post after being appointed Justice Secretary by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Remulia, who has a strong political machinery as a candidate of the National Unity Party, defeats three other opponents who all ran independent. Voter turnout was 42.6 percent. Ahead of Election Day, former Trece Martires Mayor Melencio de Sagon Jr. filed a petition seeking to disqualify Remulia for allegedly disbursing government funds during the campaign period, a violation of the election code. The Comelec says it has yet to review the case but says, quote, it will undergo the right process based on existing regulations. The Ecumenical Institute for Labor, Education and Research calls out Director Daryl Yap for illegally using footage from their 2005 documentary, Sangala ng Tubo, for Yap's upcoming film, Martyr or Murderer. In a joint statement with other producers, EILER says Yap used clips from EILER's documentary and allegedly refuses to cite them as producers and owners of the footage. In a Facebook post, EILER says Yap's usage of the documentary's footage in Martyr or Murderer's teaser lacks context and was intentionally done so to, quote, highlight the sins of Coanco Aquino and to cover up the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos Sr.'s own sins during martial law. EILER demands that Yap remove all footage from the film. The film director has yet to issue a statement. Martyr or Murderer, a film on the late Senator Nino Aquino, is the sequel to the controversial Made in Malacanang. P-pop boy group SB19's Josh Cullen steps out on his own as a solo artist and launches the single Wild Tonight and its music video. In an exclusive interview with Rappler, Josh shares how his debut solo project is a, quote, reflection of his experiences, whether good or bad. Wild Tonight, which Josh calls a diss track, is an upbeat record with EDM, hip-hop, and pop influences. The music video features vampire-inspired visuals combined with rhythmic dance breaks. Very proud ako sabihin niyo na ano, parang original idea ko siya na um, ginagawa ko pala yung intro, beats, parang nai-imagine ko na kung paano yung music video. Josh adds how he, quote, found the joy in creating music in this project and says fans can expect more from him this year. Watch the entire interview on Rappler. Actress Liza Soberano opens up about her experiences in the entertainment industry sharing she is now in the process of developing a new career path for herself. In a 14-minute vlog, the actress confesses she struggled with all the restrictions while working in local showbiz. I'm 25 years old now, and I think people forget that I've been working for 13 years now, since I was 12 years old. I've sacrificed my freedom and I've sacrificed my happiness to present Liza Soberano to the world, and 
I think that I've earned the right to finally be me. In June 2022, Liza signed with James Reed's record label Careless Music after being managed by Augie Diaz for 11 years. Liza rose to fame in the Philippines for her roles in Dolce Amore, Bagani, My Ex and Wise, and Alone Together. Multiverse hopping adventure Everything Everywhere All at Once grabs the top movie trophy at the Screen Actors Guild Awards. The film claims three acting awards for lead female actor Michelle Yeoh and supporting actors Ki Hui Kwan and Jamie Lee Curtis. Brendan Fraser wins Best Male Movie Actor for The Whale. Meanwhile, the cast of Abbott Elementary and White Lotus take the trophies for Best TV Comedy and Drama Ensembles. Jessica Chastain and Sam Elliott win Best Female and Male Actor in a Limited Series, while Jennifer Coolidge and Jason Bateman win awards for their performances in White Lotus and Ozark. The winners are chosen by members of the SAG-AFTRA Acting Union. The film honorees are closely watched because actors make up the largest group of voters for March 12's Academy Awards. Attention Armies! Big Hit Music confirms J-Hope will be the second member of BTS to fulfill his mandatory military service. The agency did not specify when J-Hope will officially begin his service, but assured fans it will inform them of, quote, further updates in due course. In the meantime, J-Hope will be releasing a solo single titled On the Street ahead of his enlistment. The agency says the song pays tribute to J-Hope's roots as he started as an underground street dancer. On the Street will be released on Friday, March 3. J-Hope released his first solo album, Jack in the Box, in July 2022 and makes history as the first South Korean act to headline the Lollapalooza Music Festival. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.